this is the trails part of trucking. Uh, we're on our way in the mighty Dodge and Rodeo Adventure running rig to Colorado Springs. We're going to go up on the mountain to Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And I'm here with YOSI. We brought all of our camera equipment. We want to take pictures of race cars and and have a good time up there in the mountains. You're Maybe you've never heard of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, and it's it's a very different kind of an event. It's a special event. Um, you kind of need to know how to go. It's a little bit different than just showing up with a ticket. Um, you got to show up. We to get to the spot we want to get to. We want to get up to a certain spot that we like. We have to get there the night before, and get in line on the side of the mountain and and sleep in in line in our car everybody does this up there it's pretty normal considered normal it sounds crazy but that's how you do it um, they sell a hundred campsites that are I think they're 200 bucks a piece is that right uh, yeah thereabouts 200 yeah and they and uh, you, you can get one of those but you have to be one of the first ones to buy yep. otherwise you got to do it the way we're doing it you have to like order them the minute that they're available. They go, they sell out within two or three days. Right, and so, so we got our tickets. Okay, yeah, we have a big tradition when we go to the Pikes Peak Hill Climb. We always have to stop at the Waffle House and uh, and eat. And you're up there. We're gonna go up there at about twelve thousand feet. So you have to, you have to, you have to uh, eat good. You're you're not gonna make it up there. And uh, so it's a tradition that we stop and, and eat there. Um, we're looking forward to that. And, uh, we're going to go up there. Um, but you have to get on the mountain. We like to get on the side of the mountain and get in line about 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock like that. And you sleep in your car. You sleep in your Suburban, your whatever you got. Um, or you we, stay awake all night. Stay awake all night. Um, People mill around and visit all night or rest, uh, play video games, um, and it's pretty fun. Um, uh, people are just very friendly up there when you're waiting in line. It's, it's fun. Uh, I got a topper on the back to this. I'm going to crawl back in there and go to sleep because I'm not 21 anymore. And um, It's pretty cold. Yeah, it can get real cold up there. Packed away um, blankets in, in the back, and I brought insulated coveralls um, and a parka, Carhartt parka. Um, I, I wore some heavy kind of hiker shoes, warm shoes. Um, yeah, I've had it come up, and suddenly it'll come up in snow or hail, like that real light, soft hail, um, and get terrible cold. Uh, so. I think it's supposed to be like 25 degrees or something. Tonight, yeah. Yep, so, but with the wind chill, it'll be like 19. Yeah, so it's it's a little rough and ready to get up there. Um, and and so we've, we've done enough times that we've kind of learned our lesson the hard way and froze to death a time or two. And, and uh, um, we brought some food with us, uh, a cook stove and some bacon and eggs and stuff and and uh, you can buy some food up there but it's very expensive and it's like they cooked it two days before and just kept it warm under a heat lamp or something it's not very good it wasn't um, so we've learned a few things um, I'm hoping the lighter will light at 12,000 feet but lights the stove <laughs> that would suck <laughs> we brought food in the stove but it won't light because it's the altitude but um, you can get dizzy up there from altitude. They give my, you those oxygen cans. Yeah, my 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 legs feel like like lead. I have to move slow when I'm at that high altitude. I I'll take off walking normal, and and then I don't get very far, and I'm like, oh dear, I don't feel too good. You get about halfway there. Yeah, halfway up. Um, but on the way, about two in the morning, they'll cut us loose. And so about 
2 in the morning, I'll get up and I'll drive about, what, 30 minutes, 40 minutes? Something like that. And we like to go to, um, uh, is that Devil's Playground? Yep. Devil's Playground viewing area. There's four or five viewing areas on the way up, and we've been to several of them. I haven't. No? I've only gone to the top. Oh, okay. So, we like to go up there, and um, you park, and then you go back to bed again. Um, and the race is at uh, seven. Yeah, about the, that guy on the bicycle comes down the mountain, screams yeah. his head off, yeah. and um, that's kind of a tradition too. Yeah, I don't know how you get that gig. But you have to be local. The cops are chasing him down the mountain with their police cars every year. Yeah, and they do a sweep, um, and then they then they start the race cars up and. There's no, there's no grandstands. There's no seating. You sit in the rocks or stand or bring a chair, however you want to do it. Um, and and um, um, they helicopters chase the cars up the hill. They had drones last year. Drones. Yep. Yeah. They just stay back from the mountain a ways and go up. Yeah. I suppose that's cheaper, huh? Probably. I don't remember that, but was there helicopters last year? Uh, only for the crashes. The crashes, oh. Like, you mean you had to haul somebody out of there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somebody got hurt. Okay. And then, when you go up the mountain, you're there for the duration. You can't come back down. Um, you, they, the car, the cars come up, the racetrack is actually the road that you drive on to get up there. And, the, it's a racetrack now, and, you can't go. Um, you can't go down the mountain because you can't say, "Well, I've had enough. I'm going home." But it, it's still a racetrack, and the cars still come up. Uh, if you get hurt or have a heart attack or something, they'll fly you out there with a helicopter. That's about the only way you're getting off that mountain, especially from that high up. Um, and then that's got to be expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and then. Um, uh, they, they let all the race cars come down, and then they let the spectators follow the race cars down. Um, so you, so uh, going from the top, it takes, man, how long does it take to get out of there once you start driving? A couple hours? Depends on if you're in line first or not. Yeah. It'd take you longer if you're in the back. Yeah. Um, people burn up their brakes. Yep. Um, yeah. And I've been going to put a fire extinguisher in here, but I just... I haven't had to use it. Well, I didn't ever put it in here. I should have. But I always take care of the brakes and get it in low gear. Uh, if, if, if first gear won't hold it back, then I put it in four-wheel four drive low lock to hold it back so I keep the brakes cool. Coming off the mountain, you'll rarely get up to 15, 20 miles an hour yeah. at the most. Yeah. You won't go very fast. So you got to keep your brakes cool. I, um, you will see people with smoking brakes around you and so um, who's, who's driving in the race this year um we got tanner faust is within the first like five cars that's going up tanner is uh lisa block which is ken block's daughter yeah is driving the hoonie pegasus it's his daughter on his wife. yeah his wife is driving that uh I don't know what they're called, the buggy things, they're like triangle shaped. Uh-huh, uh, kind of a dune buggy looking thing. Yeah, she's going up too, but she's in the last like 10 cars or oh, something. Oh, his wife and daughter are both driving. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And we'll, we'll take you along and show you the, the, uh, the, what that looks like, um, give you some glimpses of what it's like to go, what it's like to be there, and uh oh, look at this now here. Yeah, baby. But come on along with us. We'll we'll take you along and show you some places and some things. And and uh, and it's just uh, if you haven't been there, it's just a very different kind of an event. All right, we're back in back in Denver here. People drive bad, so we're come on along and survive with us. Try out our survivability here. There you go. Hall of Fame right there. We went 
that passed the uh, uh, Air Force Academy and the folks on the Family Visitor Center over there. Um, and there's look at this guy driving this three-wheel car thing. We're getting close to our exit for the uh, for the uh, Waffle House, <laughs> and I've been looking forward to that. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a tradition. Every year when we come down here for for uh, the hill climb, we always have to go to Waffle House. So we are. Um, we stopped and fueled the pickup because you don't go up Pikes Peak low on gas. You burn a lot to get up there. You just you just don't get yourself in a mess. And we're gonna get something to eat. Energy for the pickup, energy for us. It's recording. It's recording. Yeah, yeah we're we've been <clears throat> welcome back. We've been down in the in the uh, parking lot uh, at the Santa Claus Village uh, back there on the side of Pikes Peak on the mountain, and they let us go at about two thirty in the morning. And I'm. <laughs> I'm waking up kind of groggily, but um, um, uh, we're gonna drive through the middle of the pits. This is where they prepare the cars, and and then you have to drive slow through here, so it's kind of of uh, jack packed up a little. And but here's the here they are. Here's the cars right there. See it right here. There's the race cars on the left. Yeah, baby. They'll be coming up the mountain. What's that? Toyo, Toyo tires? Is that like a camper? That thing's huge. Toyo tires. Over here, son. Oh, here's some more. Oh, there's that pickup oh, I was telling you about. Oh, that's going up the hill? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. So you drive. The cars are right against the road. You just have to crawl through here. There's semis and... Selling coffee, but that, but that goes over. They didn't have any of them running. Oh, well, that's a stingray. Yeah. Yeah, they had cars on both sides, and I think their starting line is right here. Here's our starting line for the cars. This is where the, the race starts. Dodge. Um, we took a break, got something to eat, 
This is the parking lot um, Devil's Playground here. And uh, trying to get to, uh, oh, as you can see, they just pack us in. And uh, we got here about four o'clock in the morning and went back to bed. And uh, people are everywhere out here. And I'm going to get down over here. The, the race is finished for the day um it's going to be quite a a wrestle to get out of here over there's the exit somewhere <laughs> um but uh it's fun it's a wrestle you got to earn it it's it's not easy to be here it's pretty strenuous Okay, somebody bumped my mirror. I imagine just walking around the parking lot, somebody just bumped it. I'm gonna have to open the window. I can't see. Just looks like a long ways down. My pickup is snorting around good at this elevation. Something like that. Look at that. Well, that makes sense. That's that's metal build. 
there's supposed to be two lanes all the way down. Yeah. They turn loose. Both both lanes are down down lanes and. They, well, I saw a lot of people getting in trouble this year. Yeah, for things that were normal last year, in yeah. years past. Yeah, there was a spot that I used to sit, and you couldn't even get close to it this year. No. On that, on that last hairpin up there. They're yeah. yelling at people just walking over there. Just walking by, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they would put you in the parking lot right there. 